Traders, if you've come to this video, you are interested in learning not only about our drawing tools, but specifically the anchored VWAP drawing tool. Now I'm going to unfavorite some of these other drawing tools I've been working with and just direct your attention right here to anchored VWAP. I'm even going to click the favorite icon so that it's right here in my floating toolbar and I can access it right away just by clicking here. The key thing here though, is that I'm going to go ahead and select anchored VWAP. And I know it's selected because it's highlighted blue. So now what I can do is click anywhere on the chart and instantly get a calculation for an anchored VWAP from the point at which I click. Now, in this case, anchored VWAP means anchored volume weighted average price. So let me break that down. But before I break that down, check this out. So if I want to see a VWAP from this earnings report, and how about the day after? So look at it, 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 it Intel reported here then tanked and crashed. Now it dropped to here. I'm going to click and look at this AV WAP line right here. And now I can essentially track Intel with the anchored volume weighted average price since its crash and use that as my key piece of information related to how it's trading. And what's kind of interesting is you can actually see right away, it's just sort of been ebbing and flowing with this anchored VWAP. It never really got too high above it. It never really got too high below it. And I do want to show you something rather fascinating. They actually just hired a new CEO. And so actually the stock is popping in the after hours. This anchored VWAP line says 2182. So let's go down to a minute and check this out. Look at this. 20 about well, it changed because we're on a minute time frame here. And look at this though. It's huge what we're witnessing. We are seeing the price action get above the anchored VWAP. And effectively, at this moment, it's holding. So quite the quite the price action. So this tool also works in after hours trading. And you're seeing it live right now after a huge spike based off of breaking news in a new CEO. Very interesting just to see it just like this. You can probably get a feel for the tool within you know the first two minutes of this video now. But now let's really break down what anchored VWAP is because now many of you may not actually know what we're looking at here. Well, this is an anchored volume weighted average price. So to break that down, it's anchored. The reason why it's anchored is because we clicked. This is where we're anchoring it to. This is our starting point. So anchored in this tool refers to its starting point. It's anchored right here. Now volume weighted average price. Well, let's actually start with the thing we know, which is average price. So it's a volume weighted average price. So from this starting point, as it trades here and here and here and here, right? We can get an average price just by essentially adding up each specific session, then dividing it by the number of sessions, we get our average price. But what's really cool about Anchored VWAP is that it's volume weighted. So ladies and gentlemen, that means if there's more volume traded at a price point, it's going to have a higher weighting in the average price and it's going to move the average price more. So for example, if there's you know a million shares traded here and there was only one share traded here, well, naturally then in a volume weighted average price, this larger area with more volume is going to take that average price up a bit higher or actually quite a bit higher because there's just so much more volume going up uh, up up there and so it's weighted in the construction to reflect that so now that you ideally understand that let me double click into the tool so that you can also see all of the features that are available to you so for example here i'm going to start with inputs now inputs and style are very important in this tool because you can add bands to your vwap tool now, naturally, we're all familiar with changing the color, look, and feel of our specific drawing tools. So anchored volume weight average price. You can see the color changing here. Why don't we keep it at like a yellow for now so you just can't miss it. But this tool is particularly special in the sense that you can add bands to your VWAP so that you can actually see, for example, just how far away the ranges from that anchored VWAP. So as you can see, bands calculation mode is standard deviation. So bands multiplier one, one standard deviation. Bands multiplier two, two standard deviations. Bands multiplier three would be three standard deviations. Now, if you've ever taken a statistics course, if you're familiar with a bell curve, these are your standard deviations. And you can change that right here. 
standard deviation, one, two, three standard deviations away from your anchored VWAP line here. So if you've ever used Bollinger Bands as well, you're probably salivating saying, I love this tool so I can get an average price based off a specific starting point that I click on that factors in volume into the weighting of that average price. And then I can add these bands on it to get a feel for a statistical, you know, what a statistical move could look like up or down from that volume weighted average price. And the answer is yes, it's all with the drawing tool anchored VWAP. And let me just make sure I continue going through these specific features, because even though they're complicated, you really might have some, uh, uh, you really might learn a lot here and also take advantage of all of the tools available to you on TradingView as a member. So I'm just going to double click anywhere on the tool again. And I want to just show you percentage because percentage is also pretty fascinating where you can effectively, let's change this to five and let's change this to 10. And let's change this to 15. And now what we're doing is we're actually creating bands that are based off of the percentage away from this specific anchored VWAP. Now, if we go to style here, let me just make sure that I also have all of our settings constructed correctly. Okay. You want to make sure you have all of your bands selected as needed. I just realized I you know, you can uncheck or check your upper and lower bands. And as a quick tip, always know that this bands multiplier number one in inputs, bands multiplier number two, bands multiplier number three, where you're creating this calculation directly corresponds to the color, look, feel, and appearance of lower band number one, upper band number one, lower band number two. So here's what I mean by that. I am going to hide bands two and three. And I'm not only just going to hide them, I'm going to hide the upper band. See, it's gone. Now I'm going to hide the lower band on three. It's gone. Now I'm going to hide the upper band on two. This is two. Now I'm going to hide the upper band on the lower band on two. And it's also hidden. So now all I'm actually looking at is the lower band one and two. And remember, the lower band is going to be this one, the band that's below this. And the upper band is up here, the band that's above that. So you have tons of color customizations available to you as well with this tool, which gives you the opportunity to create a process that works for you. So let me give you a great example. Let's say, for example, you're trading Intel, the news is broke, the stock is, you know, really popping. Why don't we just go to a 30 minute chart? The stock is really popping. You've got your bands here, one and two. Let's actually change it to a standard deviation and make sure this is one. And what we're going to do here is effectively even color our bands according to our strategy. Now, if you're someone who believes in regression to the mean, you're ne necessarily trading momentum. Maybe you think the standard deviation pop is too much too fast. So you could color the upper line red and maybe the lower line green. In theory, if this was your strategy, it's red because you sell here and then you buy here. So it's a, it's, it's just one way you can customize this tool to all of your needs. Or if you're a momentum trader, think about the opposite. You effectively are buying the breakout of the standard deviation band because maybe that's just a, you know, it's a bull wave. It's going even above this two standard devi this standard deviation mark from your anchored VWAP. And going above that is your signal to trade. But you have these capabilities, which is really the important starting point is that, you know, you have the full freedom to customize this as needed. Some of you may even want to range trade, in which case you can effectively create a color within the two bands. So this color is going to be between our bands multiplier one, standard deviations, band one and one here. And we've colored it blue. And if we want it to be a range trader, maybe this is our range right here. It's a pretty wide range, but everyone has a different trading style. And it's impossible to miss because you can just see the blue, you can see the upper band, you can see the lower band, and in the middle is our anchored volume weighted average price. So those are all of the key features to understanding the anchored volume weighted average price tool. Of course, don't forget about visibility. This is if you want to see it on, say, minutes, but not days, days, but not weeks. You can effectively hide this drawing tool from the different timeframes, especially if you're going around doing diff multiple timeframe analysis. 
Now, as a quick final tip for those of you who are watching this video in detail and looking for some strategies, you know, you might find it rather compelling to utilize the anchored volume weighted average price tool to find important dates and time, click, watch the anchored volume weighted average price appear, find another point, click, find another point, click, and then make some judgments based off of that. So I mentioned we did this earnings report. Why don't we also now click one year and let's go up here and click again. So that's one year. Let's click the tool again. Why don't we now do year to date? So let's click from the start of the year, start of the year. And why don't we also do one really long one, like five years and let's click again. Now, of course, I do have these drawing tools on with two, just, I'm actually going to reduce this on these drawing tools because I want to make sure you really see what I've done here. And the best way to show you what I've done is just to focus right now on the specific anchored VWAP lines that I have just drawn. Okay, it looks like there's one more here. Just make sure I click the right one. Okay, did it. All right, now as you can see here, I've got these yellow lines, right? I've got a one-year line, a five-year line, a year-to-date line, and a line from that latest earnings report. So now I have four anchored volume weighted average price lines. What's rather interesting, actually, and let's maybe now go down to a 30 minutes to see how we're doing here. Price is now above two of those lines, and it's still got one more and one more to reach. So you can use these key points in time as starting points for where the volume matches up in terms of its average price, because that maybe that means a lot of people are underwater. Maybe that means people are willing to buy up into that point. Maybe that means people bought a lot at a higher price long ago, but now they're still holding and it might just be a stronger base. All of these things you can think through, but the point is that you can actually utilize the anchored VWAP tool to click on multiple different starting points, then get a chart like this, and you can see where price is in relation to those key timeframes. So what I think is really interesting actually is because of the recent move by Intel, and let's actually see if we go to like a 12 hour chart, if we can get this. Okay, great. So here's the live price. The news just came out, new CEO pops. So because of this event, it's above its year to date anchored volume weighted average price. So right now, anyone who bought essentially Intel at this average volume weighted average price is now back in the green. Also, what's interesting is if you go all the way back to this August earnings report, when it dropped, the anchored volume weighted average price since that earnings report now, you can see it lines up right here. Those, the, you know, it's also above that. So a large, you know, average amount of buyers are now above that as well. It's still got some ways to go though, because the one year line here is pretty steep. It's got some, you know, it's got a ways. It actually briefly held that level. Looks like in, uh, in early February. And then you've got this, I believe it's a March 20. So it's a five-year line that is quite some ways away. So you can utilize this tool to map out all these levels and do so much with it. The key to getting started now that you've watched this video is open up your chart, go over to your forecasting and measurement tools, click anchored VWAP and get going. Because the more you use it, the more you try it, the better you'll get. And be sure to check out our help center where we have countless educational articles and tutorials. And also naturally, please don't forget that we also have over 400 educational videos on YouTube. Get subscribed. You're going to learn something new. Every tool is covered. Thanks so much for watching.